밤사이에 뉴욕 증시가 반등은 했습니다만 8월에 이어서 9월도 쉽지 않은 시장이 이어지고 있습니다. 또 9월은 전통적인 약세장이다 이런 타이틀까지 가지고 있기 때문에 시장을 대응하기 어렵기도 하고 또 한편으로는 먼저 되레 두려운 마음까지 생기고 있는데요. 이런 시장 속에서도 기회는 있습니다. 그 기회를 찾아봐야겠죠. 그 기회를 찾기 위해서 이데일리 TV가 스탠다드 차타드와 단독 인터뷰를 진행을 했습니다. 레이몬드청 스탠다드 차타드 그룹의 부가시아 최고 책임자와 함께 했습니다. 먼저 9월은 정말 약세장으로 봐야 하는지 또 어떤 섹터에서 우리가 기회를 찾을 수 있을지 확인해 보시죠. Um, historical performance or pattern is no guarantee of uh, what will happen in the future. For this month, we have downgraded uh, global equities to neutral, but we maintain U.S. equities at overweight. Uh, the reason is that um, though U.S. equity valuation is not cheap at over 20 times forward price to earnings, the U.S. company's earnings growth um, is supportive of our buy call. Now, the S&P 500 um, companies are expected to grow their earnings per share by about 10% this year, followed by an acceleration to 15% next year. So compared with other developed markets, the U.S. companies stand to register the best growth outlook against the soft lending scenario that we assume as the base case. Now, we have also uh, observed the strength of uh, the U.S. equities um, that has uh, broadened out beyond the growth um, tech sector into other defensive industries, uh, such as healthcare. Now, we have upgraded um, the healthcare sector to overweight um, because um, the sector as a whole has a resilient earnings growth profile, uh, partly um, um, uh, thanks to the very robust drop pipeline that addresses the growing needs of aging um, and obese uh, demographics in the U.S. Um, and also, um, uh, the earnings uh, profile in, in uh, this sector is uh, relatively defensive, regardless of where we are in the economic cycle. Now, meanwhile, uh, the U.S. Uh, will also experience a continued steepening of the yield curve as the short end of the tenor continues to come down with rate cut expectations. Uh, this should bode well for U.S. banks as well. Uh, therefore, uh, we have also upgraded uh, the U.S. financial sector to overweight. Uh, so all in all, we remain constructive on U.S. equities. But do think um, it is time to keep a barbell sectoral approach here by balancing AI-supported growth stocks with other industries such as healthcare and financials that we favor. SC그룹은 미국의 연착륙을 기대하고 있었는데요. 그렇다면 위험자산의 긍정적인 신호가 될수 있겠죠. 대표적인 위험자산인 주식, 그중에서도 미국 주식에 대한 긍정적인 의견 계속해서 가지고 있다고 라 답변을 해줬고 그중에서도 헬스케어와 금융 섹터에 주의를 할 필요가 있다, 주목할 필요가 있다고 라 정리를 할 수가 있을 것 같습니다. 그렇다면 위험자산 말고 대표적인 안전자산으로 꼽히는 금에 대해서도 최근 많은 관심이 쏟아지고 있는데요. 금 팔지, 금 반지를 팔지 말라는 이야기도 최근 계속해서 나오고 있죠. 과연 금 가격은 계속해서 상승을 할지 스탠다드 차타드의 의견은 어떤지 물어봤습니다. Yeah, gold has indeed done well uh, year to day up uh, over 20%. Now, in the near term, um, it's going through price consolidation, partly because uh, the 10-year U.S. government bond yield um, has uh, rebounded uh, from a recent low of 3.7% to 3.9%. But there are several reasons for us to believe um, that gold prices have more to go. And uh, we have a 12-month forecast of gold to trend up to $2,625 per ounce. Uh, the first reason is that uh, the negative correlation between gold prices and real yield, which is uh, the nominal yield adjusted for uh, price inflation, is becoming increasingly clear. So as yields are declining, uh, partly because of uh, the upcoming Fed rate cuts, uh, the opportunity cost of holding gold um, should come down as well. So this is constructive for gold prices. 
um, also, uh, we are seeing um, uh, uh, geopolitical risks on the rise, including um, the upcoming U.S. presidential election in November, ongoing tensions in the Middle East, as well as um, uh, the, the Russian response to the Ukraine incursions of late. So all this adds to uh, a higher geopolitical risk premium uh, to the gold price. Now, um, we also see very strong um, central bank demand for gold, led by Turkey and India, among other nations. And um, uh, at the level of consumer demand, um, I will also highlight very strong uh, uh, demand uh, from the Indian consumers, uh, mainly because of uh, their recent cut of gold import tariff by 9%. So um, uh, all in all, we think that gold prices uh, will likely continue to benefit from uh, declining uh, U.S. bond yields, uh, as well as uh, heightened geopolitical risks. And um, um, also, as I track a lot of the uh, gold producers, uh, their marginal producing costs are rising as well. So uh, given the limited um, supply uh, growth, uh, while uh, demand remaining very strong, uh, coupled with the fact that um, the opportunity cost um, of holding coal's uh, gold is uh, coming down, we think that uh, gold will likely break 2,600. 향후 12개월 동안 금 가격의 목표치를 2,625달러로 잡고 있으니까요. 아직까지 추가 상승 여력이 있다고 볼 수가 있겠네요. 어, 한편 금 또는 또 하락하더라도 빠르게 회복을 하, 나가는 미국 증시에 투자하신 분들이라면 걱정이 사실 덜 하실 텐데요. 국내 증시에 투자하신 분들이라면 뉴욕 증시가 내릴 때더 내리고 오를 때는 덜 올라서 좀 걱정이 많으실 것 같습니다. 그럼에도 불구하고 스탠다드 차트 카드는 국내 증시에 대해서도 긍정적으로 바라보고 있더라고요. 어떤 내용인지 함께 들어보시죠. Um, our view towards uh, Korea equities um, is um, a, a core allocation um, to the country, uh, mainly because valuation remains quite reasonable. And um, uh, we uh, uh, keep it at um, a core allocation because uh, we are mindful that exposures of the tech sector in Korea lean towards the cyclical aspects of uh, the semiconductor and hardware sectors, such as memory chips. So um, I think there are three areas um, in general for Asia and Japan that I would keep an eye on. The first um, um, uh, trend would be the upcoming iPhone 16 launch. Um, that would be on September 10th. And this could be a very important event catalyst, um, uh, potentially um, increasing expectations uh, of demand for uh, high bandwidth memory chips. And uh, many of the Asian um, uh, uh, technology companies, including uh, Korean chip makers, are involved in uh, this global semiconductor supply chain. Um, uh, so if uh, we see strength uh, from demand for this upcoming iPhone launch, I think it would benefit a lot of the Korean chip makers as well. The second um, key trend I would uh, keep an eye on would be any policy boost uh, coming from China to stimulate uh, consumption. Uh, by the Chinese. And uh, that could potentially increase tourism demand um, uh, into laboring countries, including Korea, as well as revitalize some of the consumption upgrade into the better quality uh, Korean products, such as cosmetics. And the third key trend I would also um, pay attention to would be uh, India. Um, uh, India is the Asian ex Japan market that we would commend an overweight on at the moment because um, the recently announced union budget uh, basically uh, points to um, more, more spending on infrastructure development in the rural areas of India. Um, and it also uh, tries to uh, use corporate tax cuts to uh, drive more jobs in the manufacturing sector. So uh, given the strong economic outlook in India, as well as um, their uh, less sensitivity to uh, global geopolitical risk. Uh, we are overweight um, India, in particular, large cap uh, domestic um, sectors such as industrials.